Mrs. Robin. Welcome to MyPinkStamper.com. I am so happy that you're here with me today. We're going to jump right in with today's project, and I'm using our brand new stamp set from the 2020 mini catalog called Witty Sisms. This stamp set has my name written all over it. I absolutely love every single one of these images, but I especially love the strawberry. So I'm going to be working on my customer thank you cards today. Whenever you place an online order from shopmypinkstamper.com, I send you a hand stamped thank you card from me. And as one of my little bonuses to let my customers know how grateful I am for them. All right, so what else do you need? Okay, we will jump right in and I will tell you everything you need as you need it. I'll have the item code as well as the description of the item. Everything can be ordered from my shopping page. And I think that's about it. All right, we will start with the stamping. And I have a piece here of our thick Whisper White cardstock. This is just a scrap. And I am going to be using our Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I have a lot of little pieces to this card, but it's so adorable, so it's worth it. Every little bit is worth it. So I'm going to stamp this strawberry. Thank you very much. And that's all of the stamping that I'm doing. I'm going to be using the dark Granny Apple Green let me make sure. Yes, dark granny apple green. And I'm going to do the stem and the top of the strawberry. Now I'm using, I believe I'm using the dark flirty flamingo and I'm going to do the body just like this. So fun. It's so therapeutic. I made a, uh, a fairly good sized batch of these. I usually make them in batches of eight to 12 just so I don't get bored. And then I start my next batch of my next design. And I was just watching one of my shows the other night while I caught up on the, my thank you cards. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is use our Wink of Stella, uh, glitter pen. Okay. I'm going to be opening this up and this just adds shimmer to the top of your projects. So I'm just going to put it all over the strawberry and the top of the strawberry. Let me make sure I got enough on there. There you go, guys go, do you see the, there you go, I meant. Still early here at my in my office. I'm crafting a little earlier than normal today. Okay, so now I am going to grab my die cut machine and I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to be using the layering circle die for this, but I'm going to be doing a few more things, two more things at the same time. Now I have a piece of our flirty flamingo cardstock. This is just a scrap and I'm going to also put this on here. I'll try to fit all of these if I can. And I'm going to be using one of our stitched shapes circles. And I'm going to put that on here. And I think I'll save the last one for my next round. Okay. Now, when I cut this out, save your scraps. I have the stitched circle. I'll put that over here. And this one is just the circle, okay? And then the last one I'm going to do is I'm also using the layering circles, which comes with scallops. So I'm going to be using our basic black cardstock. And this is just one of my scrap pieces as well. I'm going to run that through. And now I have my scallop circle. Now it's time to do a little bit of embossing. This is one of our brand new embossing folders in the new 2020 mini catalog. And I'll have the name of it for you on the screen. I don't have it off of the top of my head. And I have a piece of Granny Apple Green cardstock. This is cut at one and a half, no, one and three quarters by three and three quarters. 
I'm going to make sure this is somewhat straight in here. And then run this through. Now I can put my entire card together. Let me show you what this looks like. It's super cute. Look at that fun texture. Isn't that super, super beautiful? You can use either side. So that you'll act, you actually get two different embossing styles with this embossing folder. Now I am going to do another fun technique using, well, I'll start with a piece of our flirty flamingo cardstock. It's cut at three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm going to use a sponge dauber. They come in sets of five. And these are fun for so many different projects and shading and coloring. And I'm using our flirty flamingo ink pad. Now what I'm going to do is just ink this up and I'm going to make my own polka dot background. Look at that. Isn't that so fun? And it has more of a watercolor kind of spongy look. If you hold it down longer, you get darker dots. It gives it more time to absorb and you can have some that are light and some that are not so light. Look at that, I'm making my own polka dots. There are so many different techniques that you can use um, to make your own polka dot background. You can also use our circle punches in the same color and you can add those to the back. All right, I didn't really need to do the bottom, but I did anyway. So now I can go ahead and put this card together. It's actually a fairly simple card with just some different techniques on it. I'm going to have, um, I'm going to use a piece of our thick Whisper White cardstock for the base. This is cut at five and a half by eight and a half inches. And I will be folding this over using our bone folder to get nice tight creases. Now you can also score this at four and a quarter to help with your smooth folding process. All right, I'm going to take this piece of, now let's see, I think I want this to be on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my adhesive. I'm using our snail adhesive. I'm gonna use it on all four sides. Since I dry embossed it, that helps it to stay flat. I'm going to put this on here across and I might go over just a little bit. If it's ever, if your paper's ever a little bit longer than your layer, you can just trim it off. It's not a big deal. I'm going to put adhesive on the back of this, add it to this white paper cardstock here. And now let's layer up our strawberry. So I'm going to lay this piece flat using our snail on top of the first layer. But for the second layer, I want a little bit of dimension. So I'm going to go ahead and add dimensionals to get the dimension. I'll add three of them on here. They don't have to, obviously they don't have to be on here perfectly symmetrical. Mine are just kind of thrown on there. And I'm gonna put that right on top of that. And then the black scallop just kind of peeks through. Now I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to add some more dimensionals and add this onto my card. This is going to be a super quick tutorial today, I hope, for you all. I like to add two to three new video tutorials on my on this channel every week. So if you are new and this is your first video you're watching, don't forget to subscribe and also to click on the little notification bell so you're, you are notified when I have a new video for you. And also, please don't forget to leave me a comment. I love to hear from you guys. It makes my day, makes me so happy. All right, whoops. So the last thing I just added on here, these are some of our glitter enamel dots. And we have the Granny Apple Green in the set. And here is my finished card for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you saw, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. I got something on here. I'll get it off after I'm done with video today. 
You can find everything you see in today's video directly from my shopping page, shopmypinkstanford.com. You can find me, more of my video tutorials, my projects, my weekly giveaways directly on my website, mypinkstanford.com. Have a wonderful day, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.